Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big uncle, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way, you know Dream Team is out there when we upload new content. All right, it's the weekend. What does that mean? Utah Jazz update. Yes, the Utah Jazz weekly update. Listen, man, not much has changed since last week. Still winning. Still winning, man. That, that's eight in a row. They they won three this week. Mm-hmm. First game, I think they played every other day pretty much, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. First game was a no contest, man. On Monday, they played the Cavaliers. I think they beat them by close to 40, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. It was ugly, man. Yeah. Everybody on the team scored except Trent uh, Forrest. The okay. entire team scored. Okay. It... it this is what happens when you become an elite team, but you got to do, you got to come out and stay focused and, and finish them off. That's that's how you, that's yeah. where it's supposed to go. The, the, the team, there's no longer win the games that you supposed to win. Mm-hmm. It's make statements mm-hmm. in those games now, you know, and that's that's what championship teams do. They just, you know, they don't, they, they don't beat around the bush. Teams that's been struggling and not ready in the not even in the playoff hunt don't shouldn't be in the close. I mean, that you shouldn't be struggling to beat these teams that's already struggling and have issues, and they shouldn't be struggling. So they, they that's showing championship mentality to come out there and finish them off. And the the point of staying focused. Yeah. You know? They, I think what, Cleveland scored was seventy five points in total. I don't care who you are. That that's crazy. That's an NBA team, well, and you, you, you do, they are one of the top defensive teams in the league. Yeah, man. Uh-huh. Then you got Rudy Gobert back there, and if you're not shooting th- shooting threes well, and then you can't really attack the basket because you got you got a, a elite shot blocker in there. That's uh, I mean, what what can you? That's what they 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 what they supposed to do. We spoke about that, yeah. yeah. How they supposed to just go in and win the games? They're supposed to and stay focused and not just win them, but dominate. dominate yeah, yeah. Well, that's why they continue to have the number one record in uh. Let me get this right. The NBA, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. I think they got Phoenix by three games still. But right now, I just want to focus on the West. We know they're the best, yeah, yeah. In, but the West because it's stacked down there. It's stacked. The West is starting to look bright, and 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 and, and there's a lot of intimidating teams there. And Utah is holding their spot. They they're holding their spot. I don't think they're gonna get caught. Uh, be, nah, be caught. It's not. No, it's what a couple of games. Not not too many games. Like twenty some games yeah, less left. Than Thirty, yeah. yeah Mathematically, and, like it's just too much. Like too many variables. Mm-hmm. Like because. Not only do they have to lose, other teams have to win, and right. yeah, I think they have that bagged up, man. Well, not don't no no need to take off. Well, take you don't take off the gas. Nah. Nah. keep going. And nine and one in the last ten, man. So I guess we'll just transition to the second game because that first one. No, nah, listen, but they they had a they had a huge major scare. Yeah, before the second before, before the second game. Before Wednesday, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, man. Um, I guess there was an issue with like a flock of birds and in, in the plane, and yeah, it, it, the plane had to come back down again. Yeah. yeah. At the land, um, listen, I can't even speak to how that would make an individual feel. I would have been shook, man. I like, definitely wouldn't have been thinking about playing a basketball game. Not at all. But that, that championship teams, they do what yeah. they, they they sucked it up, and they had to do. They they got us another flight. They get they get to make it to um, Memphis. Wait, Memphis, yeah, right. They had to get flight, and Donovan Mitchell wasn't on that flight, Mm-mm. and. Um, I can understand. Now, there's some things I don't give people passes for. Yeah. But he definitely get a pass for that one because, uh, you know, uh, from what I understand, he already had issues with flying. Yeah. Anyway, you, so can you imagine that you now in, there's an issue with the plane and you already in the air mm-hmm. and you already have these fears? You know, fear is something for real. And, you know, it's, most men don't own up to their fears. No and, doubt. And for him to, to do that. And be, you know, and to set out it, and then at the same time, um, I, was, I, w- I read a report about him tweeting to his teammates. Yeah, throughout the entire throughout game. the entire game. Yeah. That's the, that's that's yeah, that's real life right there. Because when you think about it, right, no amount of money can soothe that feeling. Like he just signed, he just read up his contract, right. an extension, mm-hmm. and you willing to like 
when you feel that, basketball no longer matters. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you got to applaud his teammates for stepping up and understanding, like, listen, man, he has fear. We can go out here and get this W, and they did it. Bogey had about, like, 24, 25. Clarkson did what Clarkson typically does, mm-hmm. and they pulled him. That's a testament to the organization. Yeah. To, you know, to, to come back from that mm-hmm. and to be prepared for the game. Mm-hmm. That's a testament to the organization, the coaching staff, and, and because they, I'm, I'm quite sure they had to have a, a lot of communication with those players. You just didn't, oh, this happened, and then you went down and mm-hmm. yeah, jumped yeah. on another plane. That's and a valid got point. Prepared. I'm quite sure they had to have discuss, discussions and, and to get them prepared mentally for that. That's not easy. Mm-hmm. I can't even imagine having to go through something like that. Yeah. You know, so, and then got to play a basketball, an NBA game. At the same time, so, yeah. so that that professional organizations, they they prepare for everything, yeah. you know. And they, those are the things that get where we're talking about championship mentality, but brings you together. It brings them. It brings them together. It's like it's it's like a, a, a another chapter to the book that would be written. Um, Going into the, cha- uh, you know, if they go on and win the championship, because year. all champions have their stories. They got right? their story, yeah. yeah, and, so, that, yeah. That, and and then pieces that draw them together, and it's mostly adversity, some type mm. of adversity that does it. And uh, then they had to go into that game on top of that. Remember, yeah, without their leader, yeah, and they still was able to pull together, and uh, they got the W, yeah. And so that does, I put them at seven in a row, right. yeah. So um, and they played them in the back to back. No, they played. No, they actually played Monday. That was a Wednesday's game. But and they unique. But it was both Memphis, Memphis games, though, wasn't it? No, the first one was uh, Cleveland. Cle- okay, you're no, right. No, right. you're because remember they played Memphis twice last week. Right. So right. that's like three yeah. times in yeah. one week they played the same team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they, was, and they won all of those. They won all of them. Yeah. Yeah. So that you got to know Memphis really wanted that game. That's like a playoff. You know what I mean? Like yeah, you, you see the exactly. same team so many There's times. There's no way you want to lose three times. So, yeah. so, so they came, and Memphis has been they've been they've been pretty bit uh, a hot team. They're fighting to be into that uh, like take a ninth spot. Yeah, the play in. Yeah, yeah, they they in that play in, and they're trying to every win counts. So uh, yeah, Utah Jazz they they holding it up strong so far. Yeah, another week. But well, I ain't even gonna say so far, right? They just been <laughs> that's what they've been doing the whole year. Like <laughs> yeah, they, just, I, they came out on fire. Yeah. And, it's, and they're not letting it off. That's what we're saying. They just got to keep their foot on the neck of the league. Mm-hmm. And they're doing a great job of it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, yeah, that was the second game. So, the third game was last night. They played uh, Chicago Bulls. You know, I think this, uh, yeah. they played Chicago last night. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicago. They won that game as well. Mm-hmm. Balanced scoring attack. That was Donovan Mitchell's uh, first game back. And he also stated before then that the fear of flying would not keep him away from his team going forward. So, okay. like, you, I, that's a testament what you said about the organization. Yeah. They spoke it out as a team, mm-hmm. and everyone put their feelings out on the table. Right. And um, came back and got another W, man. That's what a family does. Mm. You know? mm. So, you yeah, know, they yeah, come, yeah. and that brings right. them, they bring them together. So now, like, now they can withstand anything that comes before them. That's why he's, he can jump out there and j- be ready to get on another flight uh, for the cause of for the team, mm-hmm. yeah. and they had to make them feel comfortable. Yeah. So then, uh, yeah, they, that game was a uh, was a close one. Yeah. You know, Bulls was the Bulls was fighting. They were. They, yeah, they were fighting. And, well, to their credit, well, it's not the same Bulls team from three weeks ago. They got a little bit of extra ta- talent over there. Yeah. So yeah. you would expect a fight from them, but you know, like we said, star power. Not even star power, just team. Team. Yeah. yeah. Donovan Mitchell came back, dropped twenty six. Bogey's been playing very well because he had a little spurt. Maybe about two or three weeks ago, mm-hmm. during that span, where he wasn't playing as good as he was early on in the season, but I think he had about 18 last night. Right. And the game prior to that, he right. did his thing. So, and uh, 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 Jordan Clarkson, um, he's he's finding his way again. Mm-hmm. But he, he, it was never, it just wasn't. <laughs> I mean, the thing that got him that that unanimous six six man. I mean, he's always been he's been playing solid, playing hard, but. Even the game when when Donovan Mitchell wasn't there, he's really stepped up. Yeah, Memphis, yeah. You know, well, um, they had like four people in 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 with twenty or better. Yeah, him, Conley, uh, I think Bogey had mm-hmm. over twenty. Yeah, yeah. So. And um, I told you, uh, 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 Gobert is listening to you. He had a couple of big games. This this, you know, points and rebounds, mm-hmm. nineteen and 
13? Yeah. Yeah, that's in Chicago, yeah. Well, I mean, the well, average has to be going up by now, right? Maybe two weeks ago, right? I said yeah. he averaged maybe 13. But he had a couple of games where it was he wasn't in double digits. One of the games this week, he, he, was, he was at 8 and 13. Yeah. But they... But you're getting them teams out of there so early. Yeah, so it was like, and the rest of man up. But um, they're balling, man. Sometimes it feels as though even just sitting here talking, that it's hard to get excited about it because not because it's not good basketball. It's like well, they've you been, it. yeah, it's like, it's like they've been doing this all year. Yeah, and we're no longer surprised, but we still appreciate it. That's the difference. We're going to continue to talk about it. Yeah, because. It's the final uh, stride coming up, right? We got less than 30 games. They got to finish it off. The team's going to start getting ready for the playoffs. They're, they're, they're already. Yeah. They done loaded up from the from the um, trade and buyouts. The teams are loading up. Mm-hmm. And trust me, they are loading up with Utah in mind. Yeah. You know? It's better, yeah. And, and so that's what they can't, they can't get relaxed. It was mm-hmm. the end of the season. It was time to rest. No, they're deep enough that they can finish this off strong because – Every position. This is prime example. Somebody's out for whatever reason. Next man up. I mean, they're next doing a great job of that. Yeah, yeah. They're doing their thing, man. Tonight they have uh, Orlando. Orlando. Yeah. yeah. I was. I. I. I, I wanted to wait. Yeah. For the. For. Cause. Uh, it's. It's like we say. Everything we already expect them. We expect them to win. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Especially when you have, uh, like, when I looked at who they play this week, I expected, it was no doubt about it, I expected the W. Well, so uh, we'll, we'll jump on that. Based on that that statement, right? Mm-hmm. You expect them to win. Yeah. Does that add any pressure to them? Do you think they think about that at times? Because the playoffs are coming now, right? And they, they need to make a statement. I believe they conference finals are better this year because it's that progression. I think this roster, the way they've been playing all year, they've been playing championship ball all year. And that's why Peaks I don't think valleys. that they should be thinking um, conference finals or better. I think they should be thinking championship or bust. That's how I think they should be I thinking. Can with that. And if they don't think like that, then they're setting themselves up to come up short. I mm-hmm. mean, why not? Yeah. Why are we just going to get to, to the conference finals? We're the, we're the best team all season long, and then we just get to the conference Finals, that's it? No. Yeah. Uh, I want to, you got to have the mindset of we're going to finish this thing. Yeah. Uh, championship or bust. Most championship um, chip teams that I, I've seen over the years and, and decades, that's what the mentality that they had all season long. Since emergency. When they when they won. When it was always either championship or bust. They can start whining and crying after the season when they don't do it. Oh, we didn't really want to go championship or bust. Uh, the teams that's not thinking championship or bust is not making it to the championship. So I think that's how they need to be thinking. And I think that's how they're thinking. Yeah, I agree. I think Donovan Mitchell wants the full. He's not looking well. We just and be satisfied. I think him, the whole team, I think they, they listen, they overcome lifetime fears of flying and all that to get this thing done. Yeah, man. And that, that you know, it's, it's, it's for real. Life life has this way of teaching you and helping you get through through. um. Things. It's a lesson in everything. Yeah. It's a lesson in everything. And and we never understand. That's why the the Almighty, he he he, he let things happen in our lives and, that he allow, and all things always work together for the good. It's as bad as it sounded when we we got the news, but there's some fear now that that they don't have to. Do. Thank God everybody's safe. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, this is you. Utah should have no other mindset than championship. Yeah, that's it. Not getting to the championship. Not get into the Western Conference Finals. I I expect them to be there. Yeah. Not going going up three one and losing. That's a, they they've been through that stage already. Yeah. Knowing that uh, we, we were supposed to be in the Conference Finals. That was supposed to be us that upset the Clippers because they had don- dominated Denver. It was up three one. You know, yeah. so that's enough to build you up. So stages. That was a stage where they had progression. You know, no reason why they should be coming up short again like that again. No so. doubt. I agree, man. So listen, Utah Jazz the fans out there, you all been tuned in. We've been reading the comments. I know you're all excited about your team currently. You've been balling. I, and we read some comments where a lot of fans may be, you know, I wouldn't say apprehensive, but a little let down because of the buyout market. 
and their team didn't really get aggressive. Sometimes it's not worth messing with the chemistry. No. Because you, you, you'll be, in hindsight, you'll say to yourself, oh, no. Once you have a culture. Yeah. They made it. They made a little. Um, Utah made a little move, and it's perfect because I think about right because you know, uh, I think it's the one spot that's very important that he's a point guard, mm-hmm. and they need. The, well, what if something happened to Conley? You, yeah. you know, if some injuries happen. You you need somebody to come in and give some minutes. You need if you you need to have one on the roster. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a fact. Man. Yeah, and I think that was a good pickup. Yeah. yeah. So they're, they're in a good position, man. Once again, we can keep saying it. You didn't say your, your, your normal thing. And. Oh, I'm saving that for last. <laughs> I am saving it for last because, you know, that's the that's where the excitement is. Yeah, man. Because, again, we, they do it every, you know, we're expecting them to win every game. When I look at their the schedule, they, oh, this one's going to be tough, that one's going to be tough. But, this whole week, every, every last one of those games, like these teams are not ready for. They're not at the level of where Utah is. The only way that Utah is going to lose these games is if they have a lapse. And if they have a lapse, that's telling me that they're not ready for the championships or, or, or playoff run. And by them doing exactly what I expect, let us know that they're ready and they're still focused and the task is at hand and still <laughs> Let them in know. first place. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they keep thinking that it was going to, it's go. the season almost <laughs> over and still in first place. Let them know, man. Yeah. Yeah, they doing their thing, man. Utah, we got y'all. That team sports at the team, and we've been doing it consistently. Let me, most media, uh, Individuals out there, personnel are not doing this. We've been doing this consistently. We've been here, man. No, they want to only talk about the divas. They want to talk about. But, 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 but and again, I'm gonna say it again. And look where the season at. And then there's players that's having tweets, of arguments with comedians. <laughs> <laughs> do that sound like you know? I mean, what what do that? You don't you don't hear that in, in, in Utah. Nah. You, you shouldn't hear that in any team that's coming together to win a championship. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? All that other and, and this is what the media want to focus on. But listen, I'm an NBA fan. No doubt. I want to hear. I don't want to hear about the, the personal lives of the ones that's doing silly things. There's a bunch of professional players, a bunch of professional organizations that run things the right way, and that's what I want to talk about. No doubt, okay. and I respect that, man. So here you go, Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. We're here for you, Utah fans. Great week, three in a row. Actually, eight in a row. Eight. We won three this week. Yeah, three games ahead of Phoenix in the Western Conference. Oh wait. Talk broke some, they broke some records this week. Oh, yeah. Well, I, three point record, right? I believe they 54 straight games with 10, point, 10 threes or more or something like that. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. the, the 21 straight home home games. Listen, man. <laughs> yeah. It, it's milestones within all of this, right? So I guess those are things they can look forward to. Be, the championship at hand and also to keep themselves engaged and yeah. have those things there, man. Right. They're hungry, man. Yeah. They're hungry. Right. They're hungry, man. Anything else you need to say? And still, no doubt, we, we, we out of here on that. Team Sports yeah. Entertainment, the podcast. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. That way, you know when we upload new content. Comment below, Utah fans. Just let us know what you think about this week, all right? And uh, going forward, are you excited about the playoffs? And when you finish number one uh, in the overall seating, um, it's Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. I'm Earl Tima, co host, Big Unk Alan Tima. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Happy Easter. Be good. Peace.